Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bro, we're live as well, yeah, but nah, nah, that's something else, man. We are live right here, MMA Reloaded, and you know what? Yeah, after UFC 215, right, I was going to make, or well, UFC 214, my bad, I'm jumping all the way to Johnson vs. Borg here, bro. But nah, after UFC 214, I felt like making a reaction video right there, man. Right there on that spot. Because, to be honest, I was out of my fucking mind after that fight, man. And to see John Jones back, the way he came back, it yeah, just showed that, you know what, bruv, just fight Brock Lesnar and move to heavyweight. Yeah, because no one's going to beat you at like heavyweight now. Um, you know, not unless Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva, I'll tell you that now, yeah? Yeah, he may be 41 years old, yeah, but he is still one of the fucking best of all time to lace up a pair, to, ta to tape up a pair of gloves, bro. He is too sick, yeah, for his own good. Yeah, even now, man, yeah, even against Derek Brunson, fuck, you know, we saw glimpses of, uh, glimpses of old Anderson Silva right there, man. You know what? Yeah, if Brock Lesnar versus John Jones is not gonna be, I I don't know if it's gonna happen or if it ain't. Yeah, yeah, but I'm rooting for it to happen, right? The you know they they they're talking for it, they're talking for it, man. There's been back and forth banter and there's been back and forth shit, yeah, between the Beast and the Pound for Pound King. Um. You know what, I, uh, I would rather prefer to see Jones up one-on-one -on -one against Gustafsson or Volkan, you know, and uh, see where that goes. Um, you know, you, you just have to wait and see with these things, man. Yeah, I was also, bruv, and if I may, if I may talk. UFC 214, like, for one sec, apart from Jones' dominance, yeah, the, um, and the fact that, you know, we may see Daniel Cormier versus Jimmy Manoa, but that's, uh, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's TBC, man, to be confirmed right now. So, UFC 214, you know, I saw... Um, guys just break out their shells, you know, and say, you know what, yeah, I'm coming in here tonight and I'm going hard on your ass, you know, and that's exactly what we saw. I saw that from Aljamain Sterling. Aljamain Sterling and Henan Burrell went, went into like a ninja type shit war, yeah. Um, you know, Aljo is the quintessential next John Jones, but right? he fights like it. You can tell how smooth he's becoming, right? And against one of the best bantamweights to walk in that planet, to walk in the in that division, right? He just murked him, yeah, out of nowhere. I mean, I remember distinctly one judge calling it 30-26. I was like, what the fuck? Um, you know, as far as Aljamain goes, I'd love to see him fight Jimmy Rivera. Um, I think Jimmy Rivera, after his win over Thomas Almeida, would be a fucking fight against Aljamain Sterling. Now, that, that will prove, that will prove, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, who the fucking next big contender will be, right, who's going to break out from the ashes and rise to the damn top, um, you know, I'd love to see them two kids fight, so, uh, for real, and uh, also in that card, right, we saw um, Tyron Woodley versus Damian Meyer for the World Weight Championship, now, you know what, if you've been following my Instagram, yeah, you'll see a uh, 
you know, I don't know what the fuck's going on with Instagram lately, man. It might be a glitch, yeah, because, bruv, like, I went from having, uh, like, almost 1,700 followers, and now they've gone a bit down, then they've gone down, then they've gone down, but, but if you click on the notifications, it says you got more followers. I like, bruv, no, I don't. Aye, 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 before I go off topic and on a rant about these haters, yeah, um, it's gonna be, it, it was such a masterful, it was a graduation type performance, bro, from Tyron Woodley. Tyron showed the whole MMA world how to beat Damian Meyer. You wait. Fucking sit in a waiting room and you wait. You move and you wait. Move and wait. Move and wait. Yeah? Um, he he wasn't there to uh, to play games. You know? Tyron wasn't. It's all about retaining your title at the end of the day, bro. And it don't matter how you do it as long as you do it, right? They always say it's harder to defend the title than it is to win it. And, um, you know, and it, it also... And that mindset, you know, comes into a lot of fights. It makes them change the way they fight. You know, and um, uh, I'm proud of Tyron, man. You know, he didn't go in there and try to smash. You know, he went in there and he fucking fought a very, very smart fight. I'm a fan of smart fighters. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really see the need in um, <laughs> in coming full force against everyone. You know, you got to take your time. You know, uh, even in when I, when you play games like like when you when I play UFC two. Yeah, or or you know, yeah. That's my style in UFC too. Is I like to I like to be smart, you know. And that I felt, you know, you you have to be smart in the right time, and that, that was the right time for Tyron to be smart, bro. Uh, Tyron does not want uh, another fight against Robbie Lawler because he said what has Robbie done in the next in the last year? Well, mate, you're gonna fight someone night, and it most probably will be Robbie Lawler, man. Yeah, so if I was you, I'd shut your fucking mouth. And if we turn our attention to the midgets of the UFC, the flyweights, and we turn to UFC 215, where the greatest flyweight of all time, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Will take on the executioner, the executioner, the Taz Mexican Devil, Ray Borg. Now this one will be uh, a fight to a fight to remember, man. With with DJ on his eleventh title defense, right? With DJ going up to twelve title defenses. Yeah, and and Ray trying to break that streak. Anyone trying to break the streak, yeah, is like is like um, is like in WWE when they have WrestleMania yeah, and you you return the Undertaker and you see, uh, uh you know he's he's destroying twenty one and oh twenty two and oh whatever it is, yeah. You know, there's always that one guy. There's always that one guy that broke the streak. Like with Conor McGregor, man. McGregor was undefeated in the UFC, talking shit, taking names, hugging babies, kissing women, yeah? Uh, until Nate Diaz showed up. Now, uh, Nate Diaz, bruv, is the only one, I think, you know, who could talk right back at Conor McGregor, man. Yeah, and actually just fucking take it right to him, man. He didn't get knocked out, and McGregor was running for half that second fight. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not one to complain. I want to see a trilogy fight after McGregor come back. And, of course, you know, we're going to see McGregor take on the winner of Tony Ferguson and Khabib Nurmagomedov, which is going to happen at UFC 216, two I think. 216, yeah. Um, uh, UFC 216 will be headlined by... Um, by Cain Velasquez and uh, Cain Velasquez and Stipe Miocic, you know, um, you know, two seventeen will be Michael Bisping, George Saint Pierre. Uh, I would love 
you know, I would love that, man. You know, I'm I'm going to be watching um, both of those, man, very clearly. And, uh, you know, it, it's not going to be, I, I think, I don't know, man. Like, I was talking about this, yeah, a lot, like, with myself, innit? Like, we just think, yeah. And then, um... I think Tony Ferguson could go all the way, man, in this one. I think he's got, he he's he's improved his submission skills. He's improved his his striking, becoming more smart with the boxing, more well rounded. Now, I think from when he first fought Khabib, you know, he's not the same guy. I think you know he can he can out maneuver out muscle anyone, man. You know, nowadays, you know, his height, he uses his reach so well. Uh, Khabib, though, he's got to stop Khabib from shooting in. Khabib loves that clinch takedowns. Because if you shoot direct, yeah, you've got a higher chance of being stopped. And, um, you know, I think that's what he's, uh, that's what Khabib's threatening right now. So, you know, all in all, man, the UFC are just going to be blowing a fuck up. Come... Uh, the next two, three months, uh, you know, and it's all going to be capped off, you know, with September the 23rd, where Cain Velasquez will meet Stipe Miocic, you know, I love that shit, I love that fight, you know, is this going to be full of, full of just, uh, retribution, vengeance, prove, you know, who's proving who wrong? Who is the baddest man on the planet? That's what we're going to find out come UFC 217. And we're going to find it out come UFC 215. Can Johnson make it 13? No. Let's find out, man. Ladies and gentlemen, man. This has been MMA Reloaded uh, UFC Reaction. I'm not here to, uh, you know, to play games anymore, man. If you want to unfollow me on Instagram, unfollow me. If you want to follow me, follow me. Right now, I do this for the people that do follow me, right? And not the people that just follow me for a follow back. Right, Marshall Mind. I'm still waiting for the exception of the challenge, buddy. Uh, I've Instagrammed you enough times. Bring it on, man. Thank you.